Well, good afternoon and evening, everybody. This is our final studio segment today, day three of Arrogant Expo 21. And we've got Hawk in the house. Ooh, John is here. And we're going to talk about some awesome Hawk optics. And this time, rather than me sitting here yammering about how much I love the stuff, because I do, I'm going to let Joe get in and talk to John about Hawk Optic. Before I do that, mm -hmm. I want to thank our sponsors, Gateway to Air Guns and Air Guns of Arizona, and of course, all of our other sponsors as well. So you can check those out at theairgunexpo.com. Take a look, click their logo, see all the cool stuff that we're talking about here this week, and you can reach out to them right on their page. So make use of the site, definitely go, and all of these segments will be posted on their page as well. So if you miss a little bit, you can go back and watch it again. I am going to duck out. All right. I'm going to let you guys talk about all this stuff because you have a ton of it here on the table. Oh, yeah. I'm out. We have plenty of tools See you guys. Here. All right. Well, you know, we do want to thank our sponsors, Hawk and Predator. Hawk <laughs> and Predator. <laughs> Gateway Air Guns and Air Guns of Arizona. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Joe, you're new to the Hawk. I am. I have never had a Hawk and it's, I don't know. Just We're going to fix that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll fix away. <laughs> all right. Oh my so God, binoculars. You, okay, that's the first thing. <laughs> binoculars. Yeah. Took you out to the car. Yes. You saw these and you fell in love. Yes, these are 8 to 42. Yes. Um, those Frontier. Are the, the APO. APO, yeah. Yes, we so released I got bad eyes. those. <laughs> <laughs> we released those uh, last summer. Wow. And uh, those are our new top end binocular. They retail in the 750 to 800 range. It's not bad for good glass. Not for good glass. No. So the APO, it's our apochromatic lenses. Okay. And so usually you're going to spend 12 to 1400 dollars to get that kind of glasses in your binoculars. <laughs> no, <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what you think of them? So he had me out at the back of his his um, tr um truck, and um, there is a mountain range about five miles away, and I could see everything in the mountains with these. These are amazing. These are just freaking phenomenal. I've, I would love to have these, man. <laughs> hey, did you take a stock on everything that I brought? Because it may disappear. Yeah, we, like we've got everything listed. We've got security cameras. Security cameras. <laughs> we've got, what we're doing is do the Apple tags on really the important stuff. And <clears throat> yeah, we're keeping an eye on certain things going on around here. Yeah, but seriously, you guys, these are, these are top deal right here. If right. you're like me, and you hunt a lot of flat land and prairie dogs that hide and look like everything else out there, these will show you great detail. These are amazing. Right, and I, I like actually it. met you in 2017 at SHOT yeah. Show. Yeah, uh, you were with a different company. I was with time. a different company then. He was with the other company at the, the time. The other company, but uh, now, I remember <laughs> then, you were looking for a rangefinder. I was. That's what you were looking I for. I was. And then that was the first thing you said to me when I walked up. It was like, hey, I know you. I was looking for a rangefinder. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to break out yeah. the Hawk Endurance. That one is a 1,500 meter, so right under 1,700 yard rangefinder. Okay. And so it has a ton of features. It does your angle compensation. Okay. It gives you the degree of the angle, and it'll compensate your distance for wow. that angle. It has a couple different modes in it. So... If it's a uh, wet weather, it's raining, misty, right? You will get uh, you'll get an accurate reading out of it, right? Yeah, because when I was playing with it outside, you know, yeah. it was out of focus, and you guys have a focus ring right here. Right, it was great. That was amazing. And with the endurance, it has a red OLED display in it. I saw that. So it's great <laughs> if it's uh, starting to get a little bit darker. You're in some thick territory. Uh, you'll actually be able to see your display. Gotcha. It actually showed up pretty good on um yeah. out here. I mean, because it's bright and it's tan everywhere, and it, it, the, that actually showed up really well right. against the background. So yeah, I like this. Oh Is, yeah, this John, one. we're gonna have peanut gallery questions over here. Okay. Is that a new product for this year? I don't remember seeing that. So we released that rangefinder uh, last spring. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's when we brought that one out. Oh. That is a, that's more compact than your other ones. That one it is, is very compact. small. And we, uh, we do three different sizes. We do a 700 meter, a 1,000 meter, and the 1,500 meter. What, what kind of price point are we looking at on something like that retail? Those, uh, so the 1,500 retails, 300 bucks. It's not bad. No, it's not bad uh, That's all. not bad at all. And if you do a lot of hunting, your range is everything. Yes. Yes. If you don't know how far you're shooting, you, you ought not pull the trigger. 
Oh yeah. And when you're shooting any kind of competitions for with air guns or competitions with bows, I mean, just being off a little bit is going to make a difference in your score. Yep. John, what does it use to measure range? So it's got a laser inside that uh, actually shoots out the laser. Now, most people think it's a straight beam laser and it actually spread, shoots a spread. Now, most range finders do a vertical spread. So if you're shooting one of these mountains up here, you're getting a reading at the top of the mountain, the bottom of the mountain, and it's kind of calculating an average for you. Okay. So for us, we do a horizontal spread so you get a more accurate reading on what you're aiming at. Interesting. Cool. Yep. Very cool. What else did you bring us? So we have, uh, you know, Hawk's been in doing scopes for a long time. A long time. Yeah. long <laughs> time. And we recently, actually last summer, completely rebuilt our Sidewinder from the ground up. Right. It wasn't just doing a couple of updates. Okay. It was a entirely new scope. So we started with the scope body. Right. It's lighter, just as strong as ever. Right. So you don't have to worry about what you put it on. It's going to hold up. Okay. And then we upgraded the glass in it. Gotcha. So now it has 18 layers of coatings on the glass. So as Rick can attest, super clear over what he used to shoot. I was uh, shooting earlier today, and uh, uh, normally when I'm shooting long range, I had, you know, you get what you pay for, right? So I can't right. fault uh, a lesser expensive scope if I go to 24 power and it's not crystal clear at full magnification. Right, right. Well, I had cranked it up and I didn't even realize I was at 24 and I'm looking at this 100 yard target and it's crystal clear. I had no distortion on the edges. It just looked gorgeous. And I thought for sure, well, maybe I got a little more zoom. And I looked up and I said, no, I am actually at full magnification. And it was it was the Sidewinder. Now, that's yeah. it, for air gunners, that's a pricey scope. I don't know what that, right. the 24 so first six focal to 24 plane So 24 first focal plane, they're uh, right under $800. Yeah. It's not so, bad. So it's, it's going to cost you. But yeah. the difference in clarity was very noticeable. And yeah. Joe right. sat yeah. down and said, I could... I, I think I could have one of these. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize he had it on 24. Yeah. And he made a, he, he pointed it out, and I'm like, it is on 24, and I turned it down, because I usually shoot at 10. Right. So, you know, a fixed 10 scope would work for me. But right. um, this, at 24, was amazingly clear. I, it was impressive. But I have to say, too, again, I've only looked through maybe uh, God, one or two hawk scopes <laughs> in my life, and um, never looked through a Sidewinder, but this is awesome. That, right. that the side wonder is nice and i like so this right here on your we chart. added a witness window okay that's so if called. you dial for your shots right you'll be able to see how much you dialed yeah i don't know if anyone can see that and so it's similar uh, to uh okay. yeah so uh, right here is to like window. a zero stop but okay. as you dial you'll notice a little red line it'll get travel up and right. travel down right that way you just have to remember okay this is where i zeroed it in at okay and this is where i got to return to nice Yep. Nice. A visual, an actual visual of what you're right. doing. Right. That's cool. And then I had a special feature just for you. Oh, what's that? So you're up Did north you where it is cold. <laughs> okay. And uh, you don't get us like down here with Rick where it's always 110. Right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so when you're out shooting, you ever wear gloves? Yeah. And it's hard to uh, adjust your scope, magnify up sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. So now in here, okay. you can actually thread in. A, a thumb lever. Oh, so sweet. if you've got gloves on, you always got a grip on your magnification. Makes it really easy to change. So Go you guys six, include 24. A, a thumb yep. lever or throw lever with it? We these? include the uh, throw lever with it. Okay, cool. So all of our sidewinders and all of our frontier scopes get that. That's awesome. That is truly awesome. Yeah, I need this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what else did so you So a couple other things. Uh, new for actually last year mm -hmm. is uh, our new reflex dots. Okay. So here's one right here. Let's right. check that out. That is our reflex wide view. Wow. And that's it's some good glass. Got a lot larger uh, field of view than our standard one. Okay. As you can tell, the difference just holding oh, yeah, up to each a, other. That's huge. It's a lot chunkier. So, a couple cool features we added to this. After five minutes, if you set the gun down, it will automatically shut itself off. Oh, cool. And then as soon as you pick it up again, it turns right back on. That's nice. Yep. It's so, great for saving battery on range day. Okay. So John, why did you guys increase? I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> why did, so why did you guys increase this? Was the were customers Increase asking? the size? Yeah. Yeah, that just makes it, it's great so you can run it on a uh, pistol like this. Okay. Or if you want to put it on a, like we do a lot of ARs, AKs, or even a shotgun, which I have a lot of guys that run those for turkey hunting this year. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry, Another, Travis. <laughs> yeah, what is the battery life on that? 
the battery life on that uh, just really depends on the power that you set it on, but you'll get around 10,000 hours. Okay. 10, hours. Hours. And it has auto shut off? Yep, it has an auto shut off. Well, it goes into standby mode. It doesn't turn it all the way off. Okay. okay. So I usually say if you're at your end of your day, turn it all the way up when it's going into the safe. But if you run it all day long, you'll be fine. Any other uh, features other mm -hmm. than the big window? And Another really cool feature that we did on both of our red dots now is used to with red dots you'd either have to struggle to try to get a battery into the top or you'd have to pull the entire red dot off to change the battery right, right. now we added the battery tray on the side oh so all oh. it takes two little phillips screws okay. so just pull those out and change your battery don't have to worry about residing the gun in okay. and it makes it really okay. quick oh, that's yeah that's awesome but that's not the only new red dot that we did oh so we also have in our endurance series red dots okay this also gets five minute auto shut off and the shake awake okay and it comes with a riser and with a low mount so if you're mounting it oh, on an you AR go. you're mounting it on an air gun with that sits a little bit taller right it's already ready to go you're not struggling trying to get low enough to look through your red dot that's awesome because you know trying to find a mount for some of those is just oh, impossible yeah. and then now, if did you, you find say that had an inertia switch in it to get it to fire up yep so uh all of our these red dots and reflexes now if you once they uh you set it down after the five minute shut off it uh when you pick it up it'll turn itself back on automatically oh that's fantastic yeah great for range days yeah no that's great that's great for squirrel hunting too you yeah know, where you're just yeah. walking around and then yep pull it up real quick when you see something and it, and it comes up does it come up all the way to full you know it comes up to the uh, last setting that you had it on okay that's fantastic thanks right and then uh of course we have our other red dot right here okay so this is our vantage series okay and so with it we do three different sizes. Right. We do a one by twenty, yeah, one by twenty millimeter objective, okay. a one by twenty five, and a one by thirty, and it comes with this cool little uh, honeycomb shade on oh, it. There you go. Now that people can see this. Yeah, and then for it, it has eleven different brightness settings that you can change on the side. Okay, cool. Those are real nice, especially they all uh, retail for right under a hundred bucks. Really, it's not bad. That's nice. No, nope. we we decided uh, this is Rick over here at Ergon Pro Shop and Ergon Web. We decided to run Hawk Optics on our Sidewinder series as our bundles mm -hmm. uh, because of the value and that's the red dot we're using on that little pistol. It is very very nice. Yeah. And what I found with those is that if you get less than red dots, the dots can bleed. Right. They're not real they're not well defined and I found that for the money Hawks really give you a well defined dot. So you're not dealing with all this oversized bleed and weird shapes and stuff. They really work right. Out. Now, one of the other things I noticed too on lesser red dots is when you turn the uh, brightness up, it can <coughs> overpower the the, right. the lens inside, yeah. and you get a lot of, you know, just bright light in there. Right. A lot of flare. You see the yeah. flare on the glass. The yeah, flare around the outer edges. You don't get that with the hawk. Right. And then I saw a video of you yesterday getting to shoot this one over here. Yeah, it's my baby right here. Yes. Rick gave it to me. <laughs> that is our endurance one to four with our tactical dot reticle. Okay. So yeah. With this, the endurance, uh, you get the same glass that you get with the Sidewinder. Okay. And I want to say that one retails for right under 500 bucks. Okay. Definitely suited for ARs, right? Yep. Great for ARs. Great. Uh, I've actually seen a lot of guys start putting those on shotguns. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shotguns, huh? <laughs> great for turkey, great for slug guns. Yeah. This is nice. I, because that's our little short slug gun, I really wanted something that was a one, a one power, so it was quick. Right. E instant eye relief. You don't have to fight it. It's just pull it up, and there it is. And really out to 50 yards, you really don't even need the magnification. Right. You just put the dot on, the, on whatever you want, pull the trigger, and it's, it is history. Right, um, yeah. and as Joe, as you know, we were trying to hit a hundred with it. We were so close, but it was it was tough with yeah. that shorter barrel. But, but I will say, from fifteen out to fifty yards, it was right on. It was dead on. It was dead nuts. It was great. That's um, our new term, dead nuts. We use that <laughs> term out here a lot for some reason. Oh, you're yeah, picking on my term. I like I like that term, dead nuts. Dead nuts accurate. Dead nuts accurate. Dead nuts there accurate. it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And then we do a number of other stuff, like I know uh, Rick has been using our spotting scopes for a while now. Yeah, I love it. Let me, let me jump in real quick here yeah, because 
Now, I'm just going to bring it to you so you guys can see it. Because if you guys watch the live range tomorrow, you're going to see a ton of footage from this rig here. Um, and really, when you think about what this brings to the table, if you're into photography, there you go. Yeah. Uh, that is that awesome. Up. So you guys actually have the mounts to attach a DSLR directly yes. to the spotting scope, which then makes the spotting scope the lens. And right. so when you guys are watching the close-up target footage and other things like that, that's what we're streaming through is that camera with that little uh, endurance. The reason I'm using that spotting scope is because the other one is too big. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for 200 yards. It's tough at 50. So, But that's, that's what we're using to film through, and that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And it makes a difference having a compact spotting scope versus having a big one because especially where you're at, yeah. if you're trekking up into the mountains, yeah. Every ounce starts counting, <laughs> and think? these small lighter weights make a huge difference. Yeah, that's an Be awesome real style. careful with that one for you. Please, it's a hog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, besides just the scopes and everything, another right. really cool thing that we do is our hawk shooting base cool. right here. Yeah, which is very nice. It has a bunch of different adjustments you can do it. You okay. can go side to side, up and down, right. and you can make minute adjustments right here. That's awesome. And really great shooting stand that Rick can attest to. Yeah. But um, this thing retails for only $100. No, really? Yeah. And it is all metal all the way over. That it is. Really good beefy construction here on the knob. Yep. Okay, beefy so I do have to apologize because it's dirty. Um, no, I, but no, I will I, tell it you is where... well used. I yeah. will tell you where that particular stand lives and that's on my rest out underneath. I mean, I just leave it out there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but the reason I like that so much, uh, Joe, is that I, I'm a guy who likes to shoot organically. Right. I don't know how else to put it. I want to feel the gun in my hands. Right. I want to feel the recoil. I want to feel the weight. I want to actually be very connected to the gun. Now, right. most rests, they're trying to take that connection away so they take you out of the equation. Then is it the right. rest that's accurate? Is it the gun? Is it me? I want to develop a skill set where I'm very connected to the gun so that when I'm not in the rest, I'm more at home with the gun. I have not found another rest that gives me that same connection as that. Now, it doesn't work for every gun, right. but it works for a lot of guns where I can just get in there and it provides me that extra bit of stability, but I'm still completely connected to the gun. So. I apologize, John and Kevin and Hawk people, that it's dirty, but it's only dirty because it gets used a lot. Right. Um, I shoot off of that a lot uh, right out in my range, and it's just, hey, it's, it's well used. Um, so right. if you like that type of shooting where you're very connected to the gun you're shooting, give that rest a try because it worked really, really well for me. That's and I know with a lot of rests, too, they're Good. really big, bulky, and heavy. Yeah. Angie's got to come. Pick this one up. That's not bad. I mean, hell. No. Guys, well, I'm real guys, strong. You got to get Angie. She wants some air. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have that rest, too, and I love the ease of adjustability. It is awesome. Right. Being able to just quickly adjust it for whatever. Very simple. <laughs> well, John, how do we get this rest in everyone's hands? Like mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should ask. I know a guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. That's really nice. Well, let me let me say something real quick. I was actually I wasn't muted. Um, in that capacity, Joe. I mean, if, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, John. But uh, Hawk works through dealers and distributors like right. uh, other optics companies. Right. Uh, I don't know that you. Well, you probably do sell direct off your website. Uh, or at least you have we have retail prices. We there. do. We it lists all of our uh, MSRP prices on okay. the website. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. if I can actually buy there. But I do know that you do work through dealers. Um, and obviously, Ergen Pro Shop is a dealer. Thank you for letting us do that. But I also wanted to say, if you are a, a gun store, you're looking for another line of optics that has mm -hmm. a quality glass without having to break the bank. You've got features that rival glass that's a couple times the price. Um, and you have great support in, you know, with the lifetime warranty on your stuff. Lifetime I mean, warranty. You have something that's $100. You have something that's $1,000. And you have everything in between, whether it's whether it's red dot, binocular, spotting scope, rangefinders, high-end glass, entry-level glass. You have all of that, and you guys have great 
inventory as well. Right. And another thing is that you guys have people in-house that, as a small dealer, I don't stock everything. Right? right. So I don't know what's available. I want to know what I can have available to my customers. Every week I get a list of this is what we have for inventory. So you have this proactivity from Hawk to their dealers. So you want your dealers to be well equipped to sell the products. Nothing is more frustrating, especially today, is someone to come to my site. Right. I want that scope. Ah, crap, it's out of stock. Mm-hmm. You know, I can always know what's in stock either with a phone call or just checking the spreadsheet. Right. To me, that is invaluable as a dealer. So whether you're a consumer looking for glass or you're a dealer looking for another line of glass to carry, Hawk has got some great options on both sides of that coin. So I just wanted to make that point. Right. You guys and must do good stuff. We do some really good <laughs> stuff. And everything here mm-hmm. is rated to take up to a 50 BMG. Wow. So it's not going to, you don't have to worry about something breaking very easily. That's good. Yeah. And uh-huh. if you do break it, we'll take care of it with our warranty. Okay. Well, I don't have a 50 BMG yet, but. Yet. Yeah. That's a key word. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Guess I better move to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. We'll have you. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> wow, man. Where else? I mean. Well, I think that's about uh, it to what we have over here. Okay. Hey, and, John. Uh, um, how are you guys with inventory right now? I know a lot of distributors all over, guns, gun parts and stuff are suffering from the COVID stuff. Right. And and getting supplies in and, and material to make parts. So how, how are you guys holding out? Well, we're seeing a lot that you see in the industry right now. There is shortages here and there, uh-huh. yeah. but a big advantage with us is we not only do we have our warehouse here in the USA that we can ship from, we also have a U, uh, warehouse in the UK where we were founded. And anytime, if we need to pull some inventory from there, we can just to make sure it gets out to you guys. Well, that's so, good. so a lot of your stuff is still available right now? A lot of it is. I'd probably say 70% of our catalog. That, that is fantastic. Yeah, You're doing is. a lot better than most. Then. Right. Yeah. yeah, a lot better than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me jump in here because I think we've about exhausted what we have on the table. Certainly haven't exhausted all the things that Hawk has Not to offer. Even close. But it is a good start. And I'll just reiterate again, if you're looking for quality glass uh, at a reasonable price uh, with a great warranty and a company Lucky that stands Earth, behind yeah, it, give, you got to give Hawk a call. Uh, do we have a question? Um, what time are we going live this evening so that they can get some of their questions answered? Well, I would imagine we're looking at what time it's you got there. Quarter past six. Oh, quarter past yeah. six. So yeah. we are probably supposed to be live at seven. Uh, we'll probably push that to seven. Well, mm, no, we'll have to go live at seven. We'll have to eat quick and get up there and get reset. So I'm thinking we're going to be up there at seven o'clock mm-hmm. uh, and then we'll be live oh, then. Right. We'll go ahead and wrap up now if I can get these guys to stop twiddling with the knobs over there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say thank, thank you, John, for coming out and hanging out and bringing thank all this cool stuff. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man, it's been great. Yep. Um, stay tuned for more cool stuff here at Arrogant Expo. We got two days just of shooting on the range. I am very, very excited to make that yeah. a reality. I think everybody <laughs> is ready to go shoot a bunch of air guns. Um, so thanks to our sponsors. Uh, that's Gateway Air Guns. Uh, Air Guns of Arizona, Predator Pellets, uh, Hawk Optics, another one of our sponsors, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks everyone. for watching, and we'll see you in about 45 minutes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.